What's going on guys, LLP here and welcome back to the second episode of the Purge SMP server everybody. Now I do apologize in advance guys, uh, I am coming down with a little bit of a sickness. I went home early from school yesterday because I had stomach, I had like a stomach virus and I think I'm also getting a, a sore throat and a cold as well. So it's gonna, I'm in for a rough weekend, I can already tell. So I do apologize if videos are less than the commentary quality side. Um, I can still commentate fairly well right now, so I'm gonna try to pre-record a bunch for this weekend, just so I don't have to worry about recording over the weekend, so I can just work on getting better and be in school next week, because we only have three days, then it's spring break. But yeah, guys, welcome back. In the last episode of The Purge, Harry, the owner, gave us a little bit of a tour of the server, and we went around spawn. It took like a, it took 20 minutes to um, explore the spawn area. It's ginormous, and I just got a tweet. Um, it's ginormous, so there's gonna be a ton of stuff to do. I'm gonna I'm planning on building some shops and some businesses as well And I think it's gonna be a really cool time and I hope you're all looking forward to it The support on the first episode of purge was absolutely amazing And I cannot thank you guys enough for the support that I hope we will get on this video as well because if the support is just as good as yesterday then I Can tell you guys are gonna really enjoy this series. So yeah, but what you guys are looking at right now is my base, my temporary base. Now, I was, I've was i been working these past few days on just getting stuff set up and getting a little bit of, getting my, getting my feet planted firmly on the ground on the server, just getting established and everything, and I want to show you guys what I've done since the previous episode. Firstly, to give you guys a little bit of context of where we are, if we head up... Okay, he changed his name to Bad Boy J. But um, if we head up this mountain here... Um, <laughs> All right, then if we head up this mountain here, I can show you guys there are a few other people's bases around us. Now, this is not our temper this is not our permanent base. This is just a temporary base so I can get established and it's relatively close to spawn. So if we head up here, we have Adam K's house, which is right down there if it'll render, but that's the um the side of it. So Adam K's house is over there. Uh, I believe this is Inferno Crafter's base up there, and if we head over here, I'll turn my render distance up so we can see this. But if we head over here and we turn up render distance, let's turn it to normal. We can see that spawn is directly over there. Uh, there's another house. I believe that used to be, I want to say that used to be Relic's house. So we got to turn our render distance up even further. We turn it up here. We can see that spawn is right over there. Purge central. So that's just a little bit of showing you guys. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. That's just showing you guys a little bit of the area we are and where our base is right now. So I've done a bunch of things and I've, I'm kind of making my temporary base look a lot like a normal base mostly because I feel like I'm going to be living here for quite a while until I decide the design of my real house and everything so I've set up another portal we've got a sugarcane farm here which I just harvested we've got the beginnings of a little chicken farm we have my potato farm and I just got a carrot from a zombie I killed so we're gonna be setting up a carrot farm next to it but just right now we have the potato farm and if we head inside to the main area of our base this is the bottom floor here We've got an infinite spring my smelting and crafting area my indoor wheat farm which produces a good amount of wheat once it's all grown but it does take a while to grow so it's a bit it's a bit inefficient but i'll get used to it we have storage so i've got this chest this chest full of just random items i can pop the rotten flesh and the carrot in there and this chest is my valuables so we have tons of iron we have diamonds, more iron, redstone. A lot of this is from going to Harry's Iron Farm and buying it because I got a, I got a bunch of lapis as well, and I've been buying up from Harry's Iron Farm because I want to have a good amount of iron before I start and get all my diamonds and stuff. Down here is my mine shaft, which has been where I've been getting all my the diamonds and the gold and the iron and the redstone and the lapis and stuff like that, as well as the 17 blocks of coal that we also have. So, I'm pretty well established right now. I'm only rocking iron armor. I'm not enchanted yet. I'll be doing that in the next few days here. Um, I'll probably make a full set of diamond armor eventually to enchant. But right now, we're just rocking a bit of iron. So, if we head upstairs here, go up this cool stairwell. I've not roofed this off yet. But if we head up into this stairwell, we have my enchanting area. So, we have the enchanting table here. And we have a nice little lookout into our yard. And I think this is pretty nice. I'm going to be building multiple rooms into this mountain. So, I think it's going to be a pretty cool looking base. And I'm not exactly sure what I want to use this room for. One thing I do want to do is I want to build another room going out this way in today's episode. And I want to use that as a storage room. So I think right now is I'm going to make a cut. And once I've cleared this out, I'll be back to you guys with the completed storage room or the hollowed out area for the storage room. 
Okay guys, so I have hollowed out our storage room, so if we head inside here, we have a nice little area to put our chests down, and I went downstairs and I crafted 12 chests. I don't know if that's gonna be enough or anything, but we could definitely make more if we need to. So we're gonna be marking out the areas where we're gonna be making our, our chest locations. So firstly, I wanna take down all these torches, because now looking at it, it's not the best placement. And for now, we're going to place them on the floor, because I don't want it messing with anything. So there we are. So. The chest room is going to be organized like this. So there's going to be different sections for different chest locations, like so. And then there's going to be a hollowed out area on the top for just extra chests. And if we go like this, this is how I want the chest room to operate, like so. And I think that's going to be a nice, uh, a nice placement for the chest. We can sneak some torches in there for some extra lighting. I think, I think that'll that'll help us out. And then if we put that there and the torch and the torch. That looks nice. I really like the design of that. And we can put item frames down the middle here to signify what goes in each chest. And we're going to repeat that pattern on the same side. So if we head downstairs here, I want to craft a few more chests uh, from these from these acacia logs that we have uh, lying around here. So we got one more chest, two more chests. We can only build, we're only going to be able to like three more chests. Do we have any? Oh, we have a ton of spruce wood. So what we'll do is we'll turn, we'll turn a little bit of that. I'll turn a stack of that into into chest making material and we'll just lay that all out here in the crafting table like so. So that's 11 more chests that might cover the other side. Let's take a look. We head through here and then let's just start cutting out this area here. So it's just a straight strip. So two, four, six. It's not going to cover the entire thing, but we'll get pretty darn close. Put the torches up there and there, there and there. And then repeat the pattern. Yeah, we're going to get... We're just going to be missing one double chest. Oh, there's some gravel there. Oh, that's irritating. Uh, I'll have to cover that up and fix that at a later date. Let's just get rid of it quickly. And then what we'll do is we'll use some cobblestone to just... Nope, that's gravel, not cobblestone. We'll use some cobblestone here to just cover it up as much as possible. And then torches here and that and that. And then we need one more chest. Actually, I think what we can do is if we eat this here because we are running a little bit low on food. Like, I have 50 chicken, but I did go to spawn and buy that from the KFC. What was I looking for? Um, oh, yes, this is not completely full, so I do believe if we mine one of these, it'll give us the whole thing. Fun, let's... <laughs> well, we got the chest at least, so that's, that's an irritating thing that tends to happen. We can just fill this chest right back up here with some stuff, and we can use this chest to finish up the storage room. And then another thing that I plan to do is once this gets full... Once these uh, side chests get full, I'll probably start putting some chests on this wall, or maybe I'll bring this out into different rooms. But I think that looks pretty nice. The chest room, it's looking pretty good. I think I think this is going to be a really nice chest room, mostly because we have a ton of storage space, especially if we start using this wall for three more and three more on here. Like if we carve out this part here, we can use it for even more storage space. So let me just go ahead and carve out the areas for the chests right now. I don't know when we're going to be using these, but when we do, we'll use them. And this will give us opportunity to store a ton of different items, which is really nice. I really like the design we went for with the storage room. It's It kind of has a cool pattern when the chests are in the wall because it's kind of it gives it a bit of depth, I feel like, with the chests and the, um, the stone on the sides. So that looks pretty cool. So if we head out here, I don't know what I'm going to be doing this room with. I might get a brewing stand on the corner here, maybe put a chest for brewing supplies. This is going to be our enchanting and brewing room for the time being, and that'll be that'll be nice and cool. So now we have our chest room, and we have our enchanting room, and then we have the main, the main room slash. For now, it's the the main storage room here. That looks pretty good. I think this is all. I think our temporary base is going to turn out really well. Now, a plan that I have is to eventually build multiple floors on this um, on this base. Just take my base and take it all throughout this mountain. I think that in the end is going to look really good and I would like to get started on more floors this weekend when I have some time like maybe build a floor up this way or continue some more rooms going through here if we're not going to put chests here but it's open to you guys as well so I want you guys to leave your opinions down in the comments and I will be sure to read them all and I think that's going to end episode two of the purge for us shorter episode 
I want to start doing more clips in these videos once I get more established, but right now it's just getting everything set up. So there really isn't that many clips we can do besides me showing you guys and working on the storage room and all that stuff. So I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a comment down below. On Sunday, I'm going to be uploading an SG where I talk about my new schedule for the week. So be sure to watch that. That includes two purges a week, Mondays and Fridays. That's a little leak for you guys that watch purge. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed. And as always, I've been LP. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.